Item number seven, discussion items. N item number seven A will ask the clerk to please read it into the record and ask Chief Merritt to please be prepared to give a brief presentation on this item. RFP for Public Safety Radio Tower. Bob Merritt. Uh, good evening, Mayor, Council. The issue before you is a discussion regarding the Public Safety Communications. Whoop, whoop. Boy, it's hot. Uh, the public safety communications in the new public safety facility. As we found out as we moved into the building, we discovered that we had no communications either on the far side or the police side regarding radio communications. This has an enormous effect on our operation, obviously. It's caused the fire service to miss some actual calls. It's caused us to have officer safety issues. We virtually cannot communicate out of the building. It's not only a officer safety issue and communication, but it's also a huge service issue regarding us providing service to the community. We've talked about this issue and it's been mentioned by the project manager several, several months ago, and we've been uh, going through a process to identify what was needed to correct the problem. And Chief Merritt's talked with uh, some vendors. Uh, we've talked to uh, several different people to figure out a good fix for it. And the fix before you this evening is just a discussion regarding the direction that we're headed at this point. The communications is absolutely critical, obviously, in the public safety facility. And it not only affects the police and the fire side, but also the EOC, which has no communications. And what this will do for us is it will give us a minimal sized tower behind the building under 50 feet. It will also provide radio base stations that will bring the signal into the department, not only the fire side, the police side, but the EOC, and will allow us several different talking points in each department so that we can communicate with dispatch and we can also have the communications going between the officers and the different uh, fire apparatus and also the toning out of the fire service. So the issue is very critical for us. Right now there's really no other options to add the communications in the department for the day-to-day -day officer safety fire dispatch operation. We could run the EOC out of the portable behind the facility. However, that only resolves a very small portion of our building and the capabilities that have some limitations. When we designed the EOC, we designed it to be an everything for communications in those rare instances that we have a significant emergency. The issue that is critical to that functioning appropriately is to be able to communicate and right now we would be unable to do that. So the issue before you, as I said, is a discussion item just to bring you up to speed uh, regarding the need in the public safety facility and to let you know the direction we're headed and the, the reasons and the concerns that we have about the current situation there. 